Hello there people of the internet, welcome back to another reaction video. Today I thought we'd look back on a channel I haven't actually checked back on in a while called Black Dragonfish. We watched an analogue horror from this channel before about the planets, I believe. And uh, I was told that this one is pretty good. It's got 110,000 views, it's called Waterworld. I'm not sure if this is all tied into the same... Uh, thing as the previous video we watched but it looks interesting from the thumbnail I, I don't know what the hell's going on here we're gonna have a little look and see what it's all about be sure to check out black dragonfish go support the channel and if you enjoy this content the reaction be sure to like subscribe all that good stuff let's jump into this shall we at this media after the great discovery of the new star system, we have now developed brilliant new technologies to take our quest for knowledge further. Okay. Meet the new ARC-93, a revolutionary device capable of recording audio and taking detailed images. Yeah. What is the ARC-93? You just said what it is. The ARC-93 is composed of three parts. The submariner probe, the transmission beacon, and an interstellar probe. Oh. Hey, when what? these three components reach the planet via space shuttle, both the submariner probe and the interstellar probe will be deployed. At the end of the mission, the submariner probe will deploy the transmission beacon and begin transmitting to the interstellar probe. Okay. <laughs> Using the new ARC-93, we What's can going on in the background here, man? ...explore the depths of Anukat, also known as the Waterworld. The Waterworld Project. Here we go. Getting into it. Through perseverance and study, we now have detailed images of the Great World's inhabitants. Okay. This is a timeline of the Waterworld Project. So this basically is a thing that's capable of going right to the bottom of, like, to... to to the depths where no human has ever been. Is that what you're saying? March 7, 2114. Mission begins. Jesus. The planet is finally reached. Arc 93 is deployed. Oh, okay. So it's... Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So it's still on the planet thing, but this is a planet dedicated to a, a water world, quite literally. Um, and it deploys the the arc 93 the 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 submarine bit when it reaches the atmosphere i guess november 4th 2163 arc 93 lands successfully oh thirty to 200 meters 40 meters. So these are all like, this is just a 56 meters. This is like Subnautica, basically. It's a water, it's a, it's a world full of just water. That's terrifying. You think about that, guys. We think about like intelligent life as being like these aliens that float around in spaceships and stuff. We don't think of the possibility of like, they're just being like a, like the same kind of thing, but they all live in underwater and they're able to breathe underwater and stuff. The possibilities of life, like what kind of life is out there, is endless. Because who knows how evolution works in terms of other planets, you know what I mean? Because evolution on this planet works because of this planet, because of the climate, because of the, you know, all the chemicals and how far away from the sun we are. But if there's another planet capable of supporting life that has different kind of, a different climate, different stuff, who knows what kind of things would be out there. Yeah. November 11, 2163, Arc 93 descends. Oh, this is where it gets. Okay, so this represents like the depth. So that's the surface, and like this is the. Okay. 350 to 500 meters. Subnautic stimulus. That's like a freaking. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh! What is that? It's like a nose and eyes and eyebrow. What is this? That's horrible. 
mate we we should just keep to ourselves keep to our own planet audio recording one here we go this is interesting Oh, I don't know. I, guys, I don't know what it is about the water. I guess it's because you're completely helpless. As humans, we're completely helpless. And we're out of our element, quite literally. And we are literally in someone else's playground. Okay? Uh, private property, may I add. They don't like visitors. It, it scares the hell out of me. Especially, like, when you can't even see the bottom of what you're looking at. Or where you are. The, the, the very things that could be under the water. Ugh. And I don't think that's the last of phobia. I think it's just a general fear that most people have, right? Well, not most people. Some people go diving and stuff. But maybe I do have thalassophobia. Who knows? I want to know what's at the very bottom of this thing. Well, I don't actually. I don't want to know. So I'm guessing this is being controlled via the, the ship at the top. What the hell is that? Ah! Uh! What the hell am I looking at? Okay, this is like jellyfish. Some images from this time period were removed. I want to know why. December 4th uh, entered the midnight zone. Oh my god. Where's the midnight zone? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the mid- So what's at the very bottom then? What's that called? 1,500 to 2,500 meters. Oh my god. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. Where do you even begin on researching things like this? Everything's getting dark now. You don't say. Exploration must be continued. Do you not have like a powerful light source on this thing? Surely having a light source on that thing would just attract unwanted attention. Oh, wow. Three thousand five hundred to five thousand meters. I'm really surprised nothing's attacking this thing yet. What the hell is that? It's like a brain. A weird brain, but... The Hadal Zone. What the hell is the Hadal Zone? 6,000 to 8,000 meters. Okay, now it's getting a bit creepy. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, Jesus! Why is there a deer under there? What's Bambi doing here? That's creepy as hell. Oh man, that jump scared me a little bit. What's happened? Oh. Oh dear, it's going lower and lower. Is it being dragged by something? Uh oh. Okay, well I don't think this is part of the... Oh dear, 10,000 meters. Presumably suffers a major malfunction. No, I think... No, I think that something's dragging that thing down. Wait, you can't even see what... Oh, it's not even showing what it is. Oh! What is that? It's like a clown. Fascinating. Wait, what? That's an eye. Okay, what what does that mean? What is that binary of? Someone want to uh, translate that? Is that like zero one zero zero one zero zero one? Morse code? It's binary code. I don't know. Audio recording two.
Wow. Okay, well. Transmission beacon is deployed immediately. Transmission begins. The mission is now complete. About 50 images were taken during the mission. Only 26 were used for this presentation. I want to know what the others are. There's obviously some, some creep. Hello, cats. The eternal blue. Isn't it beautiful? It's all right, you know. It's in better. No, I'm joking. You know, the, from this, this guys, it's kind of something popped into my head, right? So you know when like you go to a country you've never been to before, or even a place you've never been to before, and it's like once you go there, you're consciously aware that that place exists in your mind, and that right now over there, no matter where you are, there's people there. Just because you're not there doesn't mean they don't exist, right? They're there. And they're experiencing maybe some somewhat of what you experienced there. I was just thinking other planets, like other life planets, potentially. Like, just right now, consciously alive, somewhere out there. Maybe even thinking the same things I am. But obviously, because we haven't seen it, we don't think about it being real. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't know if that sounds crazy. But it, it really, like... I, it makes me think sometimes, I guess, that there's, you know, there's all this unexplored thing where think loads of things are happening at once. And I don't know, it's only when you go to a place that you're consciously aware of that. And like, you kind of think, oh, there's people there now or blah, blah, blah. But it's hard to do that for a thing you've never seen before. I'm probably 99% sure there's probably something from another galaxy, another planet existing right now. Just doing some mundane stuff, maybe. It's really weird to think about. That was, that was I, I like stuff like this. It's super interesting because it makes me think like that a lot more, and it it kind of adds this new kind of element of horror to to this analog horror subgenre. No one really thinks about like other life on other planets for an analog horror or for you know for for this kind of thing. And I think it's really good. Um, so guys, go be sh be sure to check out Black Dragonfish. And uh, yeah, go go like the video, all that good stuff. And if you enjoyed my reaction, then be sure to subscribe, like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.